search based first search this is an algorithm of ai artificial intelligence now for best first search we need to know the breadth first search and depth first search before coming to the theory i will tell you the exact concept of breadth first search and depth first search so that you can understand it after that i will come to theory and why it is important the best first search what is the advantage of best first search that will be also clear to you okay so i am taking a simple example and with the simple example your breadth first search and depth first search will be clear see that i am taking a tree like this a b c d e f g and h and here may be i okay this is a uh, graph in this graph my goal node is i means it is my i want to search i okay i want to search i this is my goal node now if this is my goal node from the goal node now i have to start from here so what is the main concept of dfs and bfs the main concept of dfs that is depth for search is going to the depth it will go to the depth one by one and bfs means it is working on breadth that is the level order traversal bfs another name is level order also one by one level it will complete and after that it will go to the next level so if i am trying to do dfs what i can do if i am trying to do dfs then my searching will start from always from my starting node that is this one now i started from a after that there are two possibilities when i am a there are two possibilities i can go to b or i can go to c any one of them i can go now if i am going to see whenever i am going to see then as already i have visited a a will be pushed to the stack dfs is always using stack and bfs is always using queue okay so i already visited a now a will be pushed to the stack now i am in c now from c there are also two possibilities that is f and g out of them any one of them i can take so if i am taking g then what it is happen that c already visited so c will be pushed to the stack after that i can come to the i so i is now visited and through whenever i visit i then g already done so i can pushed g into the stack now this is the normal way and my target was i if my target is i i already got i so i can stop but if it is the traversal i was searching i that i got the i i can stop but if it is the traversal means breadth first traversal means i want to traverse the complete tree then what i will do here here my target was i i got the i okay but as i uh, by purposefully i go for a then c then g then i but it is algorithm will not know algorithm will it will be not known to the algorithm that i have to go to this path only right algorithm can start from b also if it is happening that instead of c algorithm can start from b also because it is not known to algorithm that i is here algorithm don't know that right so if i am starting with b then what can be happen maybe i have visited a after that i took b instead of c i took b then what will be happen whenever i will visit b 
then after visiting b i can come to the d that is my next node so then b will be pushed into the tax stack right so you visited already d now see that from d is there any other way where you can go is there any other way where you can go d don't have any other child right i can't go d don't have any other child then what i can do then i can i can see that what was my last one as it is my stack from the stack i can take out b and now from b i can check it keep from where i can go from b i can go to e now so i can visit e i can visit this e and i can push back b again here okay that is done still now i will check that is there any other way can i go to any other way is it possible that any other options are available so what i can do i can take out b from the b there is no other option i can take out a now from a i can check is there any other option yes the option is available that is now i can go to c okay so what i did ki i already popped b also i already popped a also now again i will push a again i will push a because i am trying to visit c here okay i am taking you in a little bit more de detail so that you can understand ki what was the advantage and what is the disadvantage of bfs dfs normal dfs you all know that yes directly i will go one by one and i can reach but according to artificial intelligence you have to know that ki yes if i am not getting here then how it can work that's why i am telling you that one so what i did ki i popped b also i popped a also now from a i got another option c so now i can visit c now a will be push again now whenever i am in c then there are two possibilities i can visit f also i can visit g also now if i am visiting f maybe i am visiting f then after that what is the possibility only possibility is there i can visit h then i can push c c was already visited f is also visited already now i am visiting h now again i am stuck here again i am stuck here right because from h there is no other way and still now i did not get i still now i did not get i right so here what will be happen so uh, i forgot one thing to write the uh, in which way i was traversing i forgot that i am writing here first i have started with a then i came to b then i came to d then i came to e after that again i came back to b then there was no option then again i came back to a after that i came to c then after c i came to f after that i came to h here this is the way it is happening right now when i am in h i am again stuck then again i will try to go back when i am trying to go back then f will be pop out f is popped out from f is there any other possibility no so the next one will be also popped out i am here now from next one is there any other possibility yes the possibility is there that i can visit g now i will visit g and i will push again c because through the c i am visiting g so that that's why i will again push c now after that what will be happen from g now i can come to i now i can come to i again so this is the way i can reach to i because dfs is always going from one to one node whenever there is node connection then only i can go otherwise i can't go otherwise i can't go then only i can go otherwise i can't go that is the problem of dfs got it is that clear
is that clear how dfs is working yes yes easy and simple way to i can tell you that yes a to c then c to g then g to i this is the way i can get i but if it is in another way then how it can work this is the way it will work is it clear to everyone please reply in the chat box is that clear how the dfs is working okay now if i am doing bfs for this one how the bfs is working if i am doing bfs for the same one a b c d e d e then f then g then h and i here the bfs will be looking very simple because how because bfs is going one by one level wise first it will visit a it will visit a then it will go to the next level that is bc it will visit bc then it will visit the next level from left to right direction from left to right direction only d e f and g then it will come to the next level that is h and i so finally i am able to reach to i and all the nodes are visited and that will be done it is so simple through the bfs whenever you are doing through the tree so simple way one by one level i will complete from left to right direction from left to right direction i will complete one by one this one will be done then this one will be done then this one will be done then this one will be done and it will stop got it is that clear yes is this clear to everyone so this is the this is the way i can do the bfs but by looking these trees it is simple by looking this trees it is simple and this is the theory if you come to the theory of bfs and dfs bfs is bfs stand for breadth for search dfs stand for depth for search bfs using the q q and structured for the finding shortest path and here dfs is for the stack bfs traversal approach we first walk through all the node in the same level before moving to the next level dfs traverse approach which traverses being the root node and proceed through the node as far as possible until reach to the node no unvisited nearby it is going in depth one by one one by one go in depth when i will reach to the last one if there is no other option then only i will do go back otherwise not yes so bfs build the tree level by level dfs build the sub tree by sub tree that is working one by one sub tree when i have i came to one part then only that sub tree i am visiting after that i will visit another sub tree that way it is working so it works in the concept of p4 first in first out and it will cover as a concept of leaf o last in first out okay bfs is more suitable for searching vertices closer to the given source which is very close to the given source and dfs will be suitable for when there are solution away from the source away from the source because i have to go in depth very far okay bfs consider all the neighbor first and then not suitable decision making tree the game or the puzzle 
but dfs is the more suitable for game or the puzzle problem we like the decision from where i will go okay the complexity is very important order of b plus e it is also order of b plus e using adjacency least it will be order of b square here also using adjacency least it will be order of b plus 1 and adjacency matrix it will be b square remember that questions are coming from here b plus e the b plus e will be for adjacency least and v square will be for adjacency matrix this one also v plus e for adjacency list and v square will be adjacency matrix question are coming on adjacency list also means matrix also the siblings are visited before the children here children are visited before the siblings that is very important because one by one level my my sister brother will all will be visited together and here i will visit my child first after that i will come back to my sister or brother yes no that traverse several time are deleted from the queue and here visited node added to the stack and then removed when there is no more node to visit that we did here when there are no node meet no node no more node to visit then we will remove that one yes so bfs is there is no concept of backtracking because i will do go label by label but here in dfs the concept of backtracking is there yes dfs is recursive algorithm and backtracking is also here because when i already i am not able to reach then i will do backtracking to the parent and then i will visit another child now bfs used for the various application like bipartite graph shortest path dfs is useful for the graph is acyclic graph or not topological order or not these are the theories are very very important repeated questions are coming from these theories that's why i'm giving you the difference and the difference will help you to do all the question these all the points are very important write down these points i i add these points by purposefully because questions are coming from here algorithm related question bfs requires more rem memory dfs will be less memory because why i am i will push into the stack whenever it's not required then i will delete from the stack but here one by one i will insert into the queue but there is space will be required more so bfs optimal for finding the shortest path dfs is not optimal for finding the shortest path it is not a optimal solution so here are some advantages of bfs here are some advantages of dfs also but both have some disadvantage also right so the space complexity is more critical and time compared to com time complexity here dfs less space complexity but time complexity both are same bfs slow compared to dfs dfs is fast in bfs no problem of trapping into the finite loop and here dfs may trap into infinite loop it can trap because it can go grow level by level i am going i am going i am not getting so it can it can trap to the infinite loop okay when the target is So when the target close to the source, BFS perform better and when the target close to the far, then DFS preferable. Is this points, all the points are clear to everyone? I will ask you question. I will definitely ask you question and today, today there I am going to take a surprise mock test for all of you. 
देयर विल बी ए सरप्राइज टेस्ट ऑन यूनिफाइड स्टडी ऐप एंड आफ्टर द सरप्राइज देयर विल बी एक्साइटिंग गिफ्ट फॉर एवरी वन ऑल्सो दैट इज देयर दिस आफ्टर द सरप्राइज टेस्ट आई विल टेक द सरप्राइज टेस्ट एट सेवन पी एम आई होप सेवन पी एम विल बी फाइन फॉर एवरी वन सेवन पी एम आई विल टेक द सरप्राइज टेस्ट एवरी वन इट इज फ्री फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू यू कैन ज्वाइन द यूनिफाइड स्टडी ऐप इन द यूनिफाइड स्टडी ऐप देयर यू विल गेट ए फ्री प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन द फ्री प्रैक्टिस कोर्स यू कैन ज्वाइन द सरप्राइज टेस्ट एंड दोज हु विल कम टू द टॉप दोज हु विल कम टॉप फॉर द टॉपर्स देयर विल बी द कूपन थ्रू दैट कूपन You can avail our PYQS batch course in five hundred rupees. Only in five hundred rupees, you can avail our paper one plus paper two PYQS MCQ batch course, which will be going on till the exam. Till one day before of the exam, we will continue it, and you can avail it. and we are focusing on computer science so our plan is till 5th december till 5th december my our batch will be continued and with 500 rupees all the toppers will get it there will be 10 toppers so out of that 10 toppers i will request it is for those student those who did not took subscription previously for them if you are already in subscription please don't attend today's class because there will be no benefit of doing that it is for those learner those who are the very serious learner and those for those it is very much required to do the course for them i i plan like that me and uh, thulasi ma'am we will arrange paper one paper two both i will take the class and paper one paper two Combined question will be there. Some paper one question will be also there. Paper two question will be there. I will arrange the class, but it will be a real live mock test, and their topper will get this discount, five hundred rupees. If do discount not means the whatever course charges two thousand five hundred actually, but I will provide you. We will provide you in five hundred only. So that's why learn concept very carefully. whatever i taught whatever we taught in this youtube channel paper 1 paper 2 whatever classes are there from those classes concept only question will be there there will be no question which is not out of the context whatever we did not cover all the question will be from this concept only but it is your chance okay those who already have no need to do those who did not get it for them it will be ठीक है चलो सो बी रेडी फॉर दैट अच्छा नाउ टेल मी व्हाट विल बी द आंसर फॉर दिस वन व्हाट विल बी द आंसर फॉर दिस वन दैट्स व्हाई आई टोल्ड दैट्स व्हाई आई टोल्ड इफ दोज हु ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब इट इज नॉट फॉर देम दोज हु डिड नॉट सब्सक्राइब फॉर देम इफ सब्सक्राइबर got top that's why i i i already i already told for those who are the subscriber i will request everyone don't attempt it don't attempt it i am requesting all the subscriber don't attempt it and when they will come to the class i will tell them don't worry i will tell them please leave the class it is not for you don't worry it is for all the students those who are needy but very much dedicated for them only tell me what will be the answer yes answers are coming those who are telling option a they are wrong option c is the correct answer those who are telling option a they are wrong because why 
इट इज आस्किंग यू ब्रेथ फॉर सर्च सी दैट आई टोल्ड यू कि ब्रेथ फॉर सर्च वेन एवर देर वॉज एज ए ट्री पैटर्न इट वॉज इजी बट इट इज इन दिस पैटर्न नाउ हाउ आई कैन डू इट येस हाँ सो हाउ आई कैन डू इट हेयर यू कैन सी आई फ्रॉम वेयर आई एम स्टार्टिंग स्टार्टिंग दिस वन इज स्टार्टिंग विथ एम ओके सो वेन एवर आई एम स्टार्टिंग विथ एम आई हैव टू चेक विच वन इज माई विच वन आर द कनेक्टेड आर क्यू एन आर कनेक्टेड आर क्यू एन आर कनेक्टेड विथ मी सो इन एनी ऑर्डर आई कैन पुट आर क्यू एन इट कैन बी इन एनी ऑर्डर ओके सो एन इज देयर सो आई एम गोइंग टू पुट एन बट ओ एंड पी एनी हाउ इट कैन नॉट कम बिकॉज आफ्टर दैट डेफिनेटली आर एंड क्यू विल कम ओ एंड पी इज नॉट कनेक्टेड विथ एम हाउ दे कैन कम definitely they cannot come here either r q or q r can come but anyhow these are not coming that's why it is wrong answer same way if you are coming the next one in okay i will start with in theek hai i am starting with in starting can be anything it's okay i am starting with in whenever then what will be here see that here with the end who are connected m o and q so q is here it is possible m yes m is possible but after that p how p is possible p is any how not connected with n so that's why p is not possible so it is wrong next one c why c is correct it is started with q okay i will start with q i am starting with q no problem after that who are connected with q m n p yes m n p m n p now i have to pop which one i can pop whenever i pop q from here then only i can insert m n p so it is done after that next one is m whenever i am taking out m then which one can be inserted next one with the aim which one is connected that is r is connected so r can insert here after that n will be take out whenever n is taking out then which one is connected with n o so now o can come so that's why this sequence will be correct q m n p r o yes q n m p r o this sequence will be correct but this sequence again wrong because when i started with q after that m n p that was correct till now m n p it was correct but after m r will definitely come anyhow o cannot come here o came and that's why this is wrong is that clear this type of bfs question will be not so easy whenever you are doing in this tree pattern then to bfs traversal is very easy but whenever the graph is given in this way then you will get stuck and in this way you have to do one by one i will insert and whenever i am taking out then i have to check who are connected with me that is who are my next level these are my next level so i can do this next level got it clear to everyone yes yes clear chalo now here dfs tell me what will be the answer for this one tell me what will be the answer for this one
Okay. Yes, answers are coming. Option B is the correct answer. Because it is easy, you can take the sequence one by one. Can I go or not? By A to B, B to E, E to G, G to H, H to F. Yes, no problem. After that, next one. This next one is possible. If I am traver able to traverse one by one, then it is correct. Next one is A to B, B to F, F to H, F to F to E. That is not possible. See that. Here F after that E. There is no path between them F and E. There is no path. And that's why this one will be eliminated. Option 2 you can eliminate. Option 2 is not correct. Option 2 you can eliminate. And now no need to check option 1, option 3 and 4. Here you can see that there is the shortcut 1 and 4 and here is 1, 3, 4. So I can take only 3 and if 3 is correct then I can do the answer. So for the 3 is it correct or not? If I am going through this way that is A, B, A to B, then B to F, then F to H then h to g and then g to e yes that is correct so definitely this will be my correct answer because here is also four here is also four no need to waste my time for four this is my correct answer yes so bfs and dfs is clear to everyone bfs and dfs is clear to everyone yes Kashish Sharma. Okay, definitely join today 7 p.m. class. Okay, today 7 p.m. Either we can arrange a live mock test through this type of live class or it can be live test series. Whatever I can do, I am checking. Either it can be live test series or it can be live mock test. Any one of them, I am trying. Whatever is possible, we will do that. But definitely attempt it and try to get this opportunity yes now we will go for best first search so what is best for search i am giving you the idea of best for search as you as you are you saw that ki there are some advantage of bfs and there are some advantage of dfs also now, BFS and DFS, if I am combining them together, that the advantage of BFS also I will take, the advantage of DFS also I will take and then I will create a new algorithm that is called the best for search. So, the aim of the searching technique is to go from the initial state via the shortest path. It is the combination of BFS and DFS. When we are at the node, we can consider any adjacent at the next node. So both BFS and DFS are blindly explored without considering any cost function. Actually what we are doing? I am here, blindly we are exploring, right? In DFS, we either I can do this one also or I can do this one also. That was a problem. And that's why in our previous example, when I took this example, although I erase it, when I took this type of example, A, B, C, then here was D, E, and here was F, G, and H was here, and I was here, my target was I. I was blindly exploring this one and that's why unnecessarily I explored this one. Then I came back to here. Then unnecessary I explored this one. Then finally I came back to here. That was a problem. Right. If I did the label order also. I did this one. Then I explored this one. Then I explored this one. Then explore this one. But in based for search, we are applying here the heuristic value. 
if i am doing the best for search i will apply the heuristic value here just like the a star algorithm a o star algorithm everywhere we apply the heuristic value right using that heuristic value here here we can see that we can apply the heuristic value that is the euclidean distance we will try to find out the euclidean distance that is the heuristic value our guessing definitely it will be a type of guessing also that within this time i can reach so to decide the adjacent to most promising then we will explore through the heuristic value we will try to check which one is minimum i will explore that one first then after that again i will explore the next minimum this is the way the uh, base first search will work and here there is a open uh, open queue and there will be a closed queue also and it is the concept of priority queue because whenever we are placing the node it will be as per the priority queue so i am taking an dif a different example with that example your best for search technique will be very clear here i am taking p q r s t u and here is v w x and y okay as per the ao star you learn that ki whenever this is heuristic value zero whenever zero means that is my goal node right so from zero we can understand this is my goal node other than that everywhere i am placing some heuristic value these are my heuristic value 6 1 4 3 2 6 5 these are some uh, some like that some uh, means random heuristic value i place here some random heuristic value i placed here okay yes now see now with the heuristic value how i can work there will be the open queue and another one will be the closed queue so i will start searching from here so that's why in my open queue first of all who is present i am starting with p so whenever i am starting with p who are directly connected with me as per bfs rule q r s they are connected with me and i already visit p that's why i will write p into the close node which one is already visited i will write that one into the close part i have written this one as a close part after that now the thing is very important here whenever you are drawing the open queue open queue should be as a priority queue always you have to make it as a priority queue as per the heuristic value that means you have to place as per the ascending order so which one is minimum here s is minimum here after that next one is q next one is r because why your s value was 1 q value was 5 and r value was 6 got it this is this is the main difference in normal bfs what we did in normal bfs randomly i can write any one any any order but here order will be as per the priority queue and as per the ascending order of the heuristic value that is the main advantage here okay after that what is happening see 
after that see that these heuristic value i took randomly okay maybe you will think that ma'am you took here one and you took here four you took here ten just some random value i put here okay now which one i can take out in the next iteration i will take out the next one that is the next minimum value and as per the priority queue this is my next minimum value itself so in the closed one now i will take s means s came out from here now in the priority queue already q and r is present and i already visited s whenever i visited s then v and w is also coming now see that already q and r was present i am going to insert v and w also these are 5 and 6 but this one is 4 so which one will come first i have to make a priority queue again that's why v will come first v is coming first that is 4 after that q is the 5 that's why q is the 5 1 now see r is also 6 w is also 6 so which one will come first r will come first because r was already present that's why r will come first then w is that clear there is some noise in my side by flat there is a neighbor flat there are some wood work going on that's why the noise is there i'm sorry for that is that clear yes please reply is it clear to everyone how it is working in the chat box i am waiting for your answer so that i can go ahead yes okay chalo now the next one yes please okay now see now whenever i am taking the next one which is my next one v will come out here so p s then v whenever v is coming out then again i have to create the priority queue so q was 5 this was 6 this was 6 now after that you can see x and y y is 0 now y is 0 now so y will come first then after that q then r then w then x yes now who will come out y will come out that is p s v and y is this my goal node yes whenever i will reach to my goal node then the algorithm will stop that is means i already reached to my goal node y is my goal node so i already reach it i will stop now and what is my path i got my path here p s v y this is my path right i got my path p to s s to v v to y through this direction i am able to reach to my goal node this is the best for search nothing else combination of breadth first and depth first with the heuristic value the advantage is that we are adding some heuristic value and with the heuristic value we are taking decision ki which one i will visit first which one will be the more promising node that decision we can take here and with that decision our traversal will be more faster clear that's why here you can see the um, uh, that is how it is working you can see the open node list of track immediate node and close node list of track the node already traverse here you can see that the best first search is using the priority queue or heap either it can use priority queue or it can use heap also because mean heap max heap that that concept also we can apply here so lowest evaluation function so implement with the bfs and need to change the queue to the priority queue here theek okay. hai 
so the create two this is the algorithm how it is working whatever i told the algorithm is written here analysis the worst case time complexity of the base first search will be order of n log n where n is the number of node and worst case of visit all the node in worst case what will be happen ki i have to visit all the node before reaching to the goal node that's why n is multiplied here but as we are using the priority queue so that's why mean heap will be there for using the priority queue we have to do always the shorting and for that the log n time is required that's why the total will be order of n log n right this is the requirement of on log n log n what is the worst case theek hai so the performance of the algorithm depending how well the cost of the evaluation is designed if you are designing your heuristic value correctly then your algorithm will be more accurate according to the algorithm so special classes these are the some special classes that is the greedy based for search algorithm and a star algorithm a star algorithm is a one part of this base first technique in the a star algorithm i told right it is a one uh, it is using the technique of base first search so that was also same thing here also we took the minimum heuristic value and we take the gn equals to hn plus fn that we took right in that way we explore it so it was also one part of best first search although i cover heuris a star first after that i came next one question are coming from the greedy base first search algorithm also what is greedy base first search okay yes you are so late rohit you are so late 7 pm today is a class i told that to everyone i declare everyone that today 7 pm i am going to take a mock test that will be the surprise mock test for all the students and if you are if you are able to come in the top then you can get a very exciting gift from our hand that is 2500 rupees course you can avail in 500 rupees only that is the gift from unify study for before exam that course will definitely help you to practice so many question with us you can watch recording and everything definitely you can attempt it so the greedy base for search is an ai search algorithm that attempt to the first most promising path from given starting point to the goal from given starting point to the goal it can go that's why it is called that greedy base for search so it prioritize the path appear the most promising regarding the whenever and whatever not actually the shortest path the algorithm works by evaluating the cost of each possible path it will evaluate all the possible path out of them which one is the lowest one that is it is going to take that's why it is called the greedy base for search when it is applying the all possible one out of them which one is minimum so the process repeat until the reach to the goal and the algorithm works by using heuristic function determine the path of the most promising one the heuristic function take the accurate cost and it will come to the goal so this is the greedy heuristic method from here also questions are coming so evaluating the possible path as i told this is the main uh, focus so algorithm uses the heuristic function determine the path heuristic function take the account of the cost and after that it will choose the minimum one okay so what are the advantage advantages are simple and easy to implement greedy base first is relatively straight forward algorithm first and efficient also low memory requirement flexible and efficiency also the factor but at the disadvantage inaccurate result can be there because greedy base first search not always guarantee to give you the optimal result 
local optima problem is here also greedy base for such can stuck into the local optima that is a problem and heuristic function this is the always everywhere whenever you are using with heuristic what heuristic you are taking that is a main concern if your heuristic is good then only algorithm will work for go better way otherwise not and the lack of completeness so the greedy bridge for search is not complete algorithm meaning it's not only always give you find the solution if one exist maybe it will not give you solution because the algorithm stuck in a cycle if there is a cycle it can stuck in a cycle and that can be a most important problem of greedy base for search theek hai these are the application path finding machine learning optimizing game navigation natural language processing image processing everywhere we are applying the greedy base for search algorithm these are all about your base for search technique and the greedy base for search these both are important i i mainly explain today bfs dfs and based for search i hope this is clear to everyone yes or no i hope this is clear to everyone yes clear clear चलो सो बी रेडी फॉर द इवनिंग टेस्ट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट क्लास आई विल बी रेडी फॉर द इवनिंग टेस्ट ओके एंड आई एम आस्किंग यू सम क्वेश्चन वेट वन दीज आर द सम क्वेश्चन ऑन ए आई एलगरिदम directly we can do the question so that this ai algorithm question will be done only one part will be remaining that is the uh, do this question and this will be helpful for you you can see that greedy base for search a star and recursive base for search a same a star so many ai algorithms are there so here under the base for search technique also more detail way if you want to learn then the more detail is there greedy base first recursive base first sma search but before exam uh, that will be possible or not i don't know do the question after that we will take decision ki what we can do do this question and main important concept you can write down in your notebook natural language processing also we have to cover from there also questions are coming i will try to cover that also what will be the answer for this one tell me what will be the answer for this one answer answer soumya soumya is answering yes so here answer will be option a is the correct answer very good everyone those who are telling option a but option a anyone is not telling everyone is telling option b but that is wrong here you can see that the a star recursive base for search sma search and greedy base for search here greedy base for search incomplete even the search space is finite that is just now i told you and you are able to relate it a star computation and the space complexity too uh, too high computation and the space complexity is too high that is in the 
ए स्टार एल्गोरिथम रिकर्सिव बेस फर्स्ट टेक्निक रिकर्सिव बेस फर्स्ट टेक्निक इज व्हाट दैट इज स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी विल बी ऑर्डर ऑफ डी वेयर डी इज द डेप डेप डिपेस्ट ऑप्टिमल सॉल्यूशन ए सेम ए स्टार व्हाट इज ए सेम ए स्टार ए सेम ए स्टार इज द इज ऑप्टिमल इफ ऑप्टिमल सॉल्यूशन इज रीचेबल अदरवाइज return the best reachable optimal solution you can write down this statement in your notebook and if you are interested then i will try to cover before exam also these are the part because from here you can see repeated questions are coming from this algorithm the uh, two two main part of the best first search that is greedy best first and the recursive best first what is the main difference and the iterative depending a star algorithm see that and through the through these questions also some idea will be clear to you and you can write down this statement in your notebook tell me what will be the answer for this one and you can make a comparison list of these algorithm a star AO star hill climbing uh, base first greedy base first recursive base first iterative depending search like this way you can make a comparison chart or some mind mapping also what will be the answer for this one answer answer everyone try to answer okay answers are coming again see that a star algorithm it is the common one a star is always coming so time complexity is depending on the quality of the heuristic that is in a star algorithm now greedy base for search greedy base for search is select the node for expansion expansion if optimal path of that node has been found then only it is going to do this then recursive base for search recursive base for search means avoid the substantial overhead associated with keeping shortest queue now tell me without learning the algorithm can you remember that without learning the algorithm are is it possible that you can remember it that's why you need to learn the algorithm in detail so iterative depending search a star suffer from excessive node generation that is you can predict that is iterative so many iteration are there that's why excessive node generation problem is there here you can see the branch and bounds steepest ascent constraint satisfaction and mean n analysis what are that yes here option a will be the correct answer what of the constraint satisfaction problem that is all the games whatever we are playing what are jack problem eight queen problem 
crossword tic tac toe problem these are all the constraint satisfaction problem map coloring problem where there will be some constraint and with the constraint you have to play the game that is called constraint satisfaction problem okay here some problem is there that is a b and this is c and d so here the constraint satisfaction problem with matched with this one that discover the problem state that satisfy the set of constraint with this one you can match so here is also c with 3 here also here also here also no no meaning mean end analysis what is mean end analysis mean end analysis means like that there will be the start state and there will be the goal state also so one start state and one goal state in the start state maybe it is looking like this okay and goal state may be looking like this now from the start state and goal state it is trying to check ki what are the difference between start state and goal state after that it will try to do ki what are the steps to reach to the start state to the goal state means okay this uh, circle is coming out and circle is enlarge also otherwise this is same and the circle came out and it is enlarge also so in the first step we will do circle came out in the next step i can do it is enlarge like this way i can reach to the start to the goal so this is called the mean end analysis so in mean end analysis you can see what will be the answer ki detect it is defect not it is detect the difference between the current state and the goal state that is the mean end analysis steepest ascent hill climbing i discussed that it is the random steepest ascent means uh, nearby all the values will be will be chosen right steepest ascent yes what no punam what problem what problem no means no means here steepest ascent hill climbing that consider the all moves current state to the select the best one which one is the best one it is going to choose this one next one is the branch and bound branch and bound is keep track of all the path which can be the candidate for the further explanation the exploration that is the branch and bound it will check all the branches then it will try to find out that which one is possible here also you can see greedy base for search lowest cost first a star algorithm so many algorithms are there in ai here you can see that which one will be the answer greedy based first lowest cost and a star ninety nine a that I already told. Next one I am asking you next one ninety one ninety nine a to already discuss punam come live. <coughs> Yes, here A star algorithm. What is A star algorithm? Minimal cost that is P plus H P. That is F N plus H N, right? Lowest cost first and base first. So base first search is working with minimal cost. Minimal cost that is P. That is the greedy base first technique. And the minimal lowest cost first that is the minimal heuristic one so minimal heuristic value will be this one and this one will be the minimal heuristic this is minimal cost and this is minimal heuristic base first is working with the heuristic value that's why it is hp that's why the h will be p 
and lowest cost is normal minimal cost that is p so it will be your answer got it yes and now this question already we did a star algorithm is optimal when this all are your algorithm related question the a star opt is optimal when this is already you know and tell me what will be the answer yes so definitely it will be the answer always solution lowest cost if the heuristic is admissible it will go to the lowest cost if it is admissible then you can see where does alpha beta search update where does alpha beta search update it yes along the path everywhere it is updated here you can see which search technique complete and optimal when h n is consistent which one is con complete and optimal when h n is consistent best first depth first breadth first search or a star which one yes that is a star algorithm these are the one liner and the num you can you should write it down in your net mode book must write it down statement 1 and statement 2 read the statement 1 and statement 2 and tell me what will be the answer breadth first search is optimal when all the step cost equal where uniform cost search is the optimal if any step cost with any step cost statement 2 when all the step cost same uniform cost search expand more node at deep depth d than the breadth first search what will be the correct answer yes here statement 1 is true but statement 2 is false breadth first search is optimal when the steps that is which i told you breadth first search is optimal right so it is correct when the equal whereas uniform cost search is optimal in any step uniform what is uniform cost search then you have to learn it next one is that statement 2 is given here ki uh, this one is also this one is also true sorry statement 2 is also true because the when all the state all the step cost same in the uniform cost expand more node at depth d than the breadth when all are same then it will go to the depth okay ma'am in option it is different what is different both statement 1 and true are true this both are true which is different both are correct okay both are correct here both statement are correct here that's why you need to learn the uniform cost search also that is the reason why you have to learn the uniform cost search also now see here again the question again 
सो दैट्स वाई आई एम शोइंग यू ऑल द एल्गो रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन हाँ नाउ एंड एंड यू कैन टेल मी वाट यू वॉन्ट टू डू बिफोर एग्जाम एवरी डे थर्टी टू फोर्टी मिनिट यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न दिज एल्गो और यू डोंट वॉन्ट टेल मी इट इज योर चॉइस इट इज योर चॉइस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न देन दिज इटारेटिव डिपेंडिंग सर्च दे अन इनफॉर्म सर्च एंड दिज वट एवर सर्च टेक्निक यू कैन सी हियर आई विल ट्राई आई विल ट्राई टू कवर दोज एंड इफ यू आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड देन मे बी आफ्टर एग्जाम आई कैन गो फॉर इट एंड नाउ वी कैन डू द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ अदर सब्जेक्ट एंड ए आई विल टेक अनदर क्लास ऑफ नेचुरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग दैट इज आई कैन टेक आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन इन इजी वे बट यू कैन सी सो मेनी क्वेश्चन आर हियर so many questions are here right yes 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 all are telling yes acha tell me what will be the answer for this one as i told at least till uh, last <laughs> means at least i told you ki every 30 minute you can learn something new uh, yes So yes so here your answer will be option 4 that is the c greedy base first not optimal but often efficient this is not here it is asking which one is false this is correct one a star complete and optimal provide a chain is admissible or consistent that is also correct option c recursive based for search efficient in the terms of time complexity but poor in the terms of space complexity this is wrong recursive is taking more space recursive is taking more space and it is telling that poor in the terms of uh, space complexity but efficient in the time of time complexity for time complexity also at the recursion will take more time also so that's why option c is wrong option c is wrong theek hai ha it is asking you false which one is false which one is false it is not asking you true this one is false are rohit ye puch raha hai kaun sa false hai kaun sa true to nahi puch raha hai na false kaun sa hai ye false hai बाकी सब ट्रू है ये भी ट्रू है ये भी ट्रू है ये भी ट्रू है एडमिसेबल ह्यूरिस्टिक फॉर द एट पाजल एच वन इक्व टू जीरो ये भी ट्रू है सारे सब कुछ ट्रू है इट्स दिस वन इज फॉल्स दैट्स वाई यस हि आर आर द मिनिमैक्स एंड जेनेटिक दिज आर ऑलरेडी वी डीड प्रीवियसली सो ऑल द एल्गोरिदम रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन दैट आई आस्ट यू you can see these are the questions we did genetic algorithm question these are the questions we did previously also so in front of you why i am showing you this question you can understand that why these algorithms are important and if you are not able to learn all the algorithms then also you can try to make a uh, make a like uh, mind mapping type notes from this statement whatever statements are there in the question that mainly focus is which one is optimal which one is not complete where is the time complexity more where is the time complexity less what is the time complexity of which algorithm and what are the main concept of which algorithm from these statements only if you are preparing some notes and if you are do some mind mapping okay this is this one then also maybe some marks you can collect then also maybe i am not able to tell you confirmly but maybe you can collect some marks that's why i am telling you ki you can do in this way okay and after that ultimate thing is that without learning it will be not possible but as today you learn the base for search that's why now base for search will be easy if you learn the other algorithm then other algorithm will be also easy okay so let's see 
as per your interest let me know in the comment section if you are interested to learn these algorithms in detail then let me know i will try to cover okay bye everyone but must join today's class today uh, class means that is the live mock test after attempting the live mock test you can get this course i am showing you the course this is the course that is this one i hope the course is visible to you i hope it will be visible to you you can come to the uh, where i will arrange the class i am telling you either it will be under free mock test okay either i will arrange a free mock test here you have to attempt the mock test or or here here it will be in the free course of pyqs free pyqs and mcq practice course here i will arrange a live mock test for you okay and after attempting that if you are able to come to the top uh, that is the leader board if you are able to come then the paid courses if you come to the paid course this paid course is a 2500 rupees course whatever we have started very long back ago and this one if you are getting uh, this then this both will be available the computer science and paper one is included under this course this course i will provide you we will provide you unify study will provide you 500 rupees only 500 rupees it is for only those students those who are very serious student those who are very serious student for them okay you can try you can come today live mock test to get this opportunity we are trying to help those students those who are very serious for them okay chalo bye everyone see you again